First and foremost, this is a flood mitigation project. So the idea is to create storage for flood water, storm water, um, that historically has impacted and flooded the, the, the community of Southbridge. Now this is only one initial phase of the project, although it's taken some years to get here. Uh, the second phase of the project, which will really promote the, uh, the uh, reduction in flooding, is the sewer separation project that will be kicked off here in, in the next week or two. I'm an engineer in the Division of Waste and Hazardous Substances, specifically the remediation section. And we are charged with the oversight of the investigation and remediation of hazardous substance releases. So there are a number of those sites in this area and including this project where um, some investigation was done and assessment to find out what remedial measures needed to be taken to um, remediate the contamination that has been here from historical use. So the, the cleanup of this property um, from, from a chemical contaminant standpoint as well as surrounding properties uh, ha has a cumulative effect on water quality in the Christina River. Previously this area actually was a wetland, believe it or not, but um, it had become so degraded from dumping and filling that it occurred with waste from neighboring industry and things, so um, it was no longer functioning as it needed to. So by enhancing it and doing some cleanup activities and removing some contaminated soil and enhancing it ecologically, it can now uh, be a fully functioning wetland again. F funding is one big aspect of DENREC's involvement in this project. Um, but, but really the history of this project goes back to 2006, 2007. So really 15, 16 years ago, um, where Delaware Coastal Programs was assisting the community with a special area management plan. So that was really the catalyst for this project beginning. Just on the other side of, of A Street, there's a, a project that DENREC's Watershed Approach to Toxics Assessment and Restoration Team, we call it WATAR, conducted. And that was a pilot study to use an innovative carbon um, technology with the addition of microorganisms to help destroy contaminants in the sediments on the other side of A Street. Again, the, all of the stormwater that comes into this project will have to exit through uh, one of two channels, uh, one of which is the A Street ditch. So, so DENREC took on a remediation of the portion of the dish, ditch between this project uh, and the Christina River. Some of the Contaminated material that was removed from the site was actually able to be used on another site in one of our programs. Um, so it's the City Steel site located in Claymont. Disposal costs are so high for contaminated materials, and the material that came out of here uh, was marginally contaminated at best. So uh, reuse is something we, we look at often in our programs to see if we can transport soil from one place to another for, for a mutual benefit as opposed to simply transporting it to a disposal facility and paying a fee for disposal. For this particular wetland portion of this project, um, it's mostly done. It's constructed at this point. Uh, certainly there will probably be some invasive species uh, management that goes on as the wetland sort of grows into itself. It'll take several growing seasons to really, you know, kind of get to what was envisioned and what it needs to be functionally. Uh, that all takes a little bit of time. So some, some management here, uh, but really the next phases uh, are really going to be focused on the separation of the, the sanitary sewer from the storm sewer. Uh, once that occurs, then, then really the benefits uh, of, of this project as a whole can be seen. It's, it's a really a shining example of uh, working together collaboratively between the state, between the municipality, uh, between other project partners, local consultants, uh, to, to create something that's beneficial all the way around. So uh, again, this is just a real, real good example of how we can achieve things when we work together.